All right, guys, today we're going to take what we've learned so far about derivatives, and we're going to add some algebra to it to do a couple new things. Uh, so what we're going to do to start off with is something very similar that we've been doing all along, and that's going to be finding the slope of a tangent line. And we want to find the slope of the tangent line of this function at a specific point. And remember, the slope of the tangent line is the derivative, so what I'm specifically looking for here is the derivative when x equals 2. So in order to find the derivative, Soon we're going to learn something called the product rule, but we haven't learned that yet, so the easiest way to solve this question is going to be to distribute. I can't use the power rule until I distribute here, because I need to just have terms added together. So that's my function. Now using the power rule, I can find my derivative. So the derivative is going to be 6x minus 3. And because I want to know the derivative at a specific point, I'm going to plug in 2 to the derivative, and I'll get 12 minus 3, which is 9. So 9 is the slope of my tangent line of this equation when x is equal to 2. So now what I want to do is I actually want to write the equation of that tangent line. Okay, so when x equals 2, let's say my graph, that's going to be some sort of a parabola. Let's say my graph looked like this. Okay, so when x equals 2, I have a point on my graph. What I'm trying to do is write the equation of that line. Now, obviously, that's not correct because I have a positive slope. Um, but in general, this is kind of what I'm doing is I know I've already found the slope of that tangent line. I'm actually going to write the whole equation for it. Now, what you guys learned back in Algebra 1 is in order to write the equation of a line, you need more than just the slope. You also need a point on your graph. And if you have a point on your graph, then you can use point-slope formula to write your equation. So I already have my slope. I can go ahead and fill that in. I know the slope of this tangent line is going to be 9. So I already know m. Now the x1 and the y1 are going to be pretty easy. So I already know my x1. My x value is 2. That's already given to me. So the only thing I need to find at this point then is my y value. And if I want to find what that y value is on the original equation, this is something again you did back in algebra 1, I need to plug in 2 into my original equation. So 3 times 2 times 2 minus 1. So plug in 2 for x, I get the y value that goes with it. So that's going to be 6 times 1, which is 6. So I know at 2, I have a y value of 6. So my point that I'm going through is 2, 6. So if I know the point and the slope, I can use point-slope formula. Plug in all this missing information. So I'm going to get y minus 6 equals 9 x minus 2. Now your answer is going to be written in a couple different formats, and this is where the algebra comes in. So some of them will be kept in point-slope form, some of them will be written in slope-intercept form, and then some of them will be written in standard form. But all you guys need to do is just take it, use your algebra and just kind of move some things around to find your answer. Alright, now the next thing I'm asking you to do is to find a, where a certain function has vertical tangents. Okay, so a vertical line, if you think about that, a, vert a straight vertical line has a slope that is undefined. So what that's saying then is the slope of my tangent line needs to be undefined, which means the derivative needs to be undefined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to rewrite it. Now, on this equation, this looks a little bit different than you guys are used to seeing uh, your power rule functions, because it's not just x raised to a variable, it's actually a, little, a whole function that's raised to a variable. But we are going to use a little bit of a shortcut. Technically, with what you guys have learned right now, you should use that limit definition. But we're going to cheat a little bit here because the derivative of this inside part, the derivative of x plus 2, is just 1. Okay, so when you get to calculus, you're going to learn something called the chain rule that you'll actually use to find this derivative. But for right now, we're not actually going to go through all of that because the derivative of the inside is 1. We're going to treat this just like we normally find the derivative using the power rule. Okay, but again, we can only do it in this certain case just because that inside derivative happens to be 1. Okay, so not actually the way you guys will do this later on. So using the power rule again, I'll do that 1 half to the front, and I'll subtract 1 from my exponent, and then I can rewrite that. So that becomes 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 2. And remember, I was trying to find when I had a vertical tangent, so when my slope of my tangent was undefined, which means when the bottom here is going to be undefined. And remember, we want to look for x values that are actually part of the original equation. 
So we don't want, well, negative 5, would, if I plug that in, it would give me an undefined value. Negative 5 wouldn't actually be in my original equation. Um, so what would happen is when the bottom equals 0, then it would be undefined. And the x value that makes the bottom equal 0 would be when x equals negative 2. So because it makes the bottom 0 and 1 divided by 0 is undefined, that's when I would have a vertical tangent. All right, now the last one we're going to look at is a piecewise function. So similar to what we did for limits, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to test the left and the right side. So I want to know if this curve has a tangent at x equals 2. I want to know, is this function differentiable? Okay, that's another way of saying it, when x equals 2. Uh, so a couple things we talked about, remember, if I have a graph that comes to a sharp point, while the limit might exist there, it's not necessarily going to be differentiable. I'm not going to have a tangent line there, because I can't draw a tangent on a sharp curve. So again, we're going to test the left and right, because both my left and right approach 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find my derivative here using the power rule. So if I use the derivative, derivative of the top function would be 2x minus 2, and the derivative of the bottom function would be 3. So I don't want just the derivative, remember, I want the derivative specifically when x equals 2. So if I go ahead and plug in 2 to the top function, I get 2. And at the bottom function, no matter what, it's going to be 3. So what that means is the derivative at 2 of the top and the bottom function are not the same value. And because those are not the same value, that function does not have a tangent at x equals 2.